time is much less. Let me take you to 2014-15, where the rate of growth in AP was 13.07%, but the per capita income was the lowest, and it stood at 93,699 rupees per person, madam. Same is the case in 2015-16 and 16-17. In 16-17, the growth was 13.14%, whereas the per capita income was 1.22 lakhs when compared to Karnataka's 1.57, Telangana's 1.55, more than 20% lower than our neighbors, madam. Madam, the then PM, Manmohan Singh Ji, had given six assurances on the 20th of February 2014 on the floor of Rajya Sabha. They are special category status for five years, industrial incentives on the lines of other 11 states, assistance to backward districts on the lines of Bundalkand and KBK districts, amendment for Polavaram to bring seven mandals back to AP, distribution of assets and liabilities to be completed satisfactorily, and revenue deficit between the appointed day and acceptance of the 14th Finance Commission recommendations to be compensated in 2014-15 for a 10-month month, 10 period, madam, from June 2014 to March 2015. Madam, I want to focus a little bit on special category status, madam, because it's a burning issue in our state. Madam, let me first submit the major demand of the people of AP. It is about getting the special category status. I am neither tinkering, nor twisting, nor tweaking the facts. By, my facts are unadorned, and I'm ready for any challenge to, to contest the facts that I'm going to present, Madam. So before coming to these facts, let me, with your permission, start my journey from the day AP was bifurcated. Madam, the Congress party in 2014 sliced Telugu Talli into two pieces in a crude, unscientific, and irrational way. And she, Narendra Modi, while campaigning in AP, had rightly said, and I quote, what is there, madam? You complete, they will say afterwards. You complete. Madam, I don't know. She, Narendra Modi ji, while campaigning in AP, had rightly said, and I quote, Yes, you continue. Madam, yes. Sri Narendra Modi ji, while campaigning in AP, had said, Congress had killed the mother and saved the child. Had I been there, I would have saved the mother too. The people of AP fell flat for this statement, madam. We are so thrilled when we heard this, and we are determined in our hearts and soul that come what, way, what may be, we will be with Mr. Modi, madam. We have waited. People of, of AP have waited for four long years that Mr. Modi would save the mother. Instead of saving AP, Mr. Modi, through the finance minister, through his press, press conference on 7th March 2018, announced that no SCS would be given to AP, madam. The finance minister said, if the demand for SCS of AP is exceeded, other states, such as Bihar and Odisha, will also demand it, madam. Madam, it is baseless, frivolous, and a trivial argument, madam. And I have no hesitation to say that the finance minister should know the fundamental difference between the two. Let me remind this August House that the union cabinet conferred SCS on AP on, in its meeting on 1st March 2014, subsequent to the assurance made by then Prime Minister mentioned earlier. Other states have not been given an assurance by a prime minister on the floor of either houses of parliament, nor has a cabinet decision been made in this regard. This is a very dangerous precedent, madam. Mr. Prime Minister, do you have any respect for commitments made by your predecessors? Indeed, should you even have a choice? What value does the word of a prime minister given on the floor of the house have? Can we believe that if you give an assurance, it will be fulfilled in the future? even if you are not around. How can we function as a nation if we can't take the word of our prime minister, given in parliament, to be respected and fulfilled? Madam, it is not that BJP was opposed to special category status when it was in the opposition. In fact, the BJP in its 2014 manifesto for assembly elections in AP assured that it would give additional five years of status, that is 10 years instead of the five years proposed by then prime minister. Mr. Prime Minister, in Guntur, in Nellur, in Tirupati, in front of Lord Balaji, you promised to give SCS for 10 years. And you also emphasized an appeal to the people of AP to decide whether they need a C-Mandra or a Scam-Mandra. 
That is, do you want to vote for Seemandra for, for do you want to vote for a clean and honest person like Chandrababu Naidu, or do you want to have a scam Andhra by voting for the opposition rival party, madam? Madam, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, you also said, I'm a person who will not eat or allow others to eat. Main chun chun ke hisab lunga unlagamko. But to the other, dis other disappointment for, for your benefit, sir. But to the other disappointment of the people, you are protecting people like Gali Janardhan Reddy, A1 and A2 accused in Andhra Pradesh, and many others. The country is aware how many cases were on the family members of Gali Janardhan Reddy were dismissed, and tickets were given in the recent Karnataka Assembly elections. This reflects how serious you are on corruption and on corrupt people. You raise the expectations of supporting and developing Andhra Pradesh only to shatter them. Why should we have confidence and trust in you? Now you are singing a different tune, which people of AP are keen, keenly observing. And I have no doubt they would give a befitting reply no, no, in the coming we'll elections. Go on the record. If anybody I even go to the extent of saying that the BJP will be decimated in Andhra Pradesh, the way Congress was, if the people of AP are deceived and cheated. Mr. Prime Minister, it is not a threat. This is shrap. These are the words coming out of anguish, pain, and frustration from the people of Andhra Pradesh. And how a prime minister, on whom we had immense faith, has deceived and betrayed the people of AP in such a blatant and rude manner. The third point I wish to make is relating to Article 4 of the Constitution. It says that when any state is bifurcated under Article 3, AP is divided under this article, madam, then supplemental, incidental, and consequential measures can be taken by Parliament. Madam, the third point I wish to make is relating to Article 4 of the Constitution. It says that when any state is bifurcated under Article 3, and AP is bifurcated under this article, madam, then supplemental, incidental, and consequential measures can be taken by Parliament. And even the Supreme Court in Pradeep Chaudhary and the Mullah Periyar cases repeatedly said this, madam. Yes. So the point I'm trying to drive at is that the very bifurcation of the state is predicated upon assurance of special category status. Therefore, the SCS is supplemental, incidental, and consequential to the bifurcation, madam. And to say that the 14th Finance Commission has not recommended is a conceptual blunder of the union government, madam. Yes. So when it is clearly said in Article 4 that yes. Parliament can do it, the 14th Finance Commission or its recommendations cannot prevent Parliament from doing it, if that, if, even if they had said so, madam. Madam, the finance minister and almost the entire cabinet have been categorical that the fi 14th Finance Commission recommended not to confer SCS on any state. Let me disband, dismantle, and dismiss this argument at one go, madam. Okay. Two members